Jim, a hard-earned point today at Halifax. What was your assessment of that one? I thought it was an amazing game. Really, really entertaining. Um, both teams giving it a go in, in, in the two different ways that the two teams play. I've uh, got massive respect for them. I think they probably have for us as well. Um, I think the result is slightly difficult to take based on what I've seen today from the officials, honestly. Um, it's something that I, I try my best to avoid. I try my best not to go after and try not to make it a part of us. Um, but the first goal today for Halifax was one of the most difficult that I've watched. And today was actually the first time that, as a manager, I've, I've waited the 30 minutes and, and gone and see the officials at the end of the game. I had to, Greg. I had to. Um, because they need to see what I've seen. That, that, that initial diag um, to a player who's he's, he's not, he's not a yard offside. He's not half a yard. It's, it's six metres. Something's, something's seriously wrong. I had to tell my players the truth at half-time. I had to tell them, you've been wronged. And it changed the flow of the game. Before we knew it, it was 2-1 because of a penalty. I thought... Um, that was very, very difficult to take from the officials, but I have to commend the players off the back of an amazing travelling support, which, which lifted us, because they were with us. It was fantastic, honestly. It was, it was, fan it was, it was, it was so, so good from the, from the fans. But I have to commend the players being driven on by the fans for what they found the strength to do, even though I told them at half-time, let's get back to ground zero here. I'm not going to lie to you. We lost bravery when we went 1-0 up. So we allowed Halifax into the game a little bit, I thought. Uh, the worst thing we did was go 1-0 up, believe it or not. But at, at that moment, they got wronged by a decision that gave Halifax a goal. And we either lost courage or clarity. I don't know which one it is. But I didn't like the feel of our personality at that point in the game. And then the best thing ever was going 2-1 down. Because at 2-1 down, we reset where we was and said, are we here to play our football and play that way again or not? If we're not, let's just go. Let's just go home now. But... They found the courage, and I, I really do think it was interlinked with an amazing away support by the fans, and I mean amazing. And we came back and took a point out of the game, and I thought we were brilliant second half. Uh, chances we had, Hender hitting the post, uh, Cam Johns uh, once he ran the box, just missing. We had some fantastic breakaways second half. And I thought was, overall it was a really, really exciting game. Um, I will never forget the performance of the official or the linesman near me I'll never be able to just because um, it had a massive effect on the outcome of the game but um, I think all in all it, it it builds excitement for our next game at home at Fylde I think the club have put on a fantastic initiative which is why we've seen a brilliant level of um, uptake in tickets for the, for the game that we move on to really excited by I know you kind of talk about maybe losing a bit of courage or clarity in that first half. It's not something we've seen, is it really, this season, but it's all about the response to that and you, you certainly got that, as you just mentioned. They were heroic, honestly. The players were heroic, Greg. Really, really were. When um, when you get wrong like that, it's so difficult because you get caught up in just how you got wronged and it's it's hard to move on. Um, but they moved on to the next moment really well because that is the only one that matters. And they found the character to go again and, and get back in our groove and once we got back in our groove I thought we looked good we looked good again I thought we were dangerous um, maybe Halifax then go into that mode of we're ahead but then at 2-2 I really thought um, we were the team that was pushing and as I say the chances we had uh, from that point were just unfortunate just unfortunate um, when I said lack courage Greg I don't know if it's courage or clarity mm -hmm. because what I'll never forget is how hard it is to be out there at times when you feel like you're in a washing machine because you don't know what's going on and the game at times is getting away from you. I'll never forget that. I'll try not to forget it anyway. Um, so courage or clarity, maybe a bit of both. But the biggest thing is they found it again and they got themselves a point away from home. And, and honestly, it, it, it should have been a win if not for poor decisions from, from the official, unfortunately. Shortly before the game, we now signed of Finley Armstrong. Just get your thoughts on why you wanted to bring him in and, and how you felt he got on today. Um, I think he did well. I think he did well. I was really pleased him for the, the short notice he come in uh, on and try and give him an overload of information of how we play, which is different. Which is different for our fullbacks. You've seen where our fullbacks end up for us. Um, one of them scored a goal at the top end of the pitch today from right back. Amazing goal, by the way. I was really pleased for Jimmy. Great moment, and he went to the fans. It's magic. I liked it. Um, Cameron John played centre mid and obviously that, there's a number of positions that we need players in at the moment so you can name one full back central midfield 
you know, Adam Clayton's now out for 10 weeks. Um, centre forward, we've only got Ian, of course, as you know. So there's a number of positions that we need players, but also there's massive constraints that we're under. And that's why you see a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old on the bench today. 17-year-old still playing every week for us amazingly. We're under huge constraints. Um, on that note, massive thank you to Fleetwood for helping us out, you know, giving us a player um, and, you know, not putting money first, putting the player first. Um, on Finley, he's a player that I've been aware of for some time, but Cameron John's been in great form. And, it, you know, if you don't have an embarrassment of riches like some clubs do in this league, you can't waste, you know, the, the, the money that you do have signing players that are only going to sit on the bench there. Um, I wanted to sign a player in any of the positions that we needed one that has good calibre. Because um, you can sign players for free, but there's, there's a lot of compromise that comes with signing those young players. I don't think signing Finley comes with too many compromises because I think he's a really good player. Uh, I think what a great game for him to go into. He showed good character like the rest of the players do and I believe um, he will only get better with us. I'm, I'm really happy to have him. Getting Ryan East on a permanent as well, how happy is that made you? Delighted, delighted. Um, great video as well, guys, the link to E17, I liked it. Um, but no, really pleased, brilliant business. Um, he's Ryan's really enjoyed his time here. There's a lot of people that have suddenly took notice of Ryan now that he's here, but up until this point in time, Ryan in the footballing world has not really existed that much. He's got moves to good clubs, but never played anywhere that much and he's probably played more consistent football here than he's ever played before um, and it just fits the way I want to play he's found a home here he's loving Rochdale he's loving it um, he's loving the place we're at and he wants to be part of something that we want to build um, we may have to wait to, to, to you know get to a better place before we can build something that can really really sustain a challenge but Ryan can see something and he wanted to join it and we wasn't the only interested person in Ryan so you know he, he had opportunities but sometimes things fit in football I'm, I'm so happy to take him on a permanent so happy he's been great for us um, and yeah great for the Rochdale fans I think because they seem to like him too Just to clarify was it Adam Clayton out for 10 weeks after his scan this week? Unfortunately yeah um, the big boost is he doesn't need surgery um, but you know, the bad news is it's kind of four to six weeks in a knee brace and then it's four to six weeks recovery after that. So we lose Adam. And, yeah, similar to the rest of the season, um, we'll have to juggle players round and they'll have to be heroes again out on the pitch. That's what they were today. Honestly, that, that's that's all I've seen. Loads of lads playing in the wrong position, but with massive hearts beating in the chest all for the right cause. And I, I always tell them straight, you know, I feel like they never let me down. But if they let each other down or they let what we believe in down, I tell them. And today, they didn't at all. I loved what they did out there. Um, and they adjusted to losing Adam. Um, and we shuffled things around. They put in a great performance. Um, hopefully, we can replicate that again um, in the next game. And no supporters really responded to that, didn't they? The effort from the players. They were amazing, Greg. Honestly, they were amazing. Um, Always when we needed them, critical moments in games, there it, it, it was, it was a little bit of quiet while, while we, we, we were stunned by, you know, quickly going behind. But where we needed them and the players driving them too, there, there, was, there was a connection um, and it was a massive part of us getting something today. And that can't go away. It really can't go away because I don't want a team that only gets supported if it wins or only gets supported if it's ahead. It's got to be supported when it's behind because it's fragile. You know, it's fragile. It's so low on numbers. The situation is difficult. It needs, it needs that pure level of support that we received today. That, yeah, I don't think they'll ever quite appreciate how thankful we are for it when when it comes together like that. But um, I can only say it. So so thankful.